Argument number six. I oppose capital punishment because it might lead to the death of innocent people, and we shouldn't do anything that might lead to the death of innocent people. Now let's try to figure out what the conclusion is. The conclusion, um, well, we have the word because there, and because usually indicates that we're giving a reason, right? So it's a premise that's going to follow that. So I oppose capital punishment because the reason I oppose capital punishment is it might lead to the death of innocent people. We shouldn't do anything that might lead to the death of innocent people. That's sounding okay, so maybe the conclusion is I oppose capital punishment. Well, let's try to read it that way. Capital punishment might lead to the death of innocent people. We shouldn't do anything that might lead to the death of innocent people. Therefore, I oppose capital punishment. Sounds all right. Let's put it in our standard form. One, capital punishment might lead to the death of innocent people. We shouldn't do anything that might lead to the death of innocent people. Therefore, I oppose capital punishment. Now, I mean, it looks like things are proceeding in the proper order from premises to conclusion, but that conclusion still seems a little bit misplaced here. That is, I oppose capital punishment. Is it I oppose capital punishment? Or maybe we shouldn't have capital punishment. Because after all, look at that second premise that we shouldn't do anything that might lead to the death of innocent people, and capital punishment might lead to the death of innocent people. So it should be something like we shouldn't do capital punishment. Or maybe capital punishment or there should not be capital punishment. Capital punishment should be banned. So let's change that a little bit now. So let's change it, the conclusion to capital punishment should be outlawed or should be banned. Okay, and I think if we look at, th at it that way, and obviously we'll have to change the conclusion also, that is capital punishment should be banned. And maybe we ought to even tighten up the language here that Maybe not we shouldn't do anything, but we should we should maybe ban any punishment that might lead to the death of innocent people. That sounds a little bit better. You know, so I think in putting the argument in standard form, that's probably a pretty good way to proceed. Now notice, and it's a kind of a lesson to be learned from this, that sometimes we're going to adjust our reconstruction of the argument to make the argument work in the best way and make it hang together better. But I think this is pretty uh, a pretty good formulation of the argument. And remember, that's one of the issues when it comes to reconstructing the argument. And we're going to be talking about that when we really get up to reconstructing arguments, how we make adjustments to words in this way, because they really are significant. And you're going to see that they're significant in the way that we evaluate arguments as well.